I remember having sad thoughts and asking myself, like, what's wrong? I'd look in the mirror and there's nothing wrong with me on the outside. There's absolutely nothing wrong to make sense of that pain. My friends had no clue what I was going through. In anything that I did, I couldn't find myself to be happy. You need, like, an answer of what is going on. It's the place where sadness leaves off and depression begins. It feels like you want to cry, but when you try to cry and release it, there's nothing there. It's the place where nervousness becomes anxiety. Slowly started getting worse and worse over the weeks. I just stopped going out of my room sort of at all. Where excitement becomes mania. I feel so restless. That one time I, I drove in the middle of the night to Pittsburgh just to turn around. And habit becomes addiction. If I take one pill, if I take one sip of a drink, it's over. That continual usage becomes a coping method. It's the place where simply living becomes painful. I started to see things that weren't there. I just saw a shadow standing in the corner. And then I started to see shadows in school. I started to get bullied by people I considered my best friends. Teachers say, what is wrong with you? And then I just start breaking down like, I don't want to talk about it. I'll just cut myself or burn myself or bite myself so that um, I wouldn't feel all this pain that I felt inside of myself. All of us are affected by mental health challenges in some way, whether in our own lives or the life of someone we know, often hiding in plain sight. I'd go to school, you know, you put on a face, you're happy, you're bubbly, and then you eat lunch alone in the bathroom. <laughs> At that age, how are you ever gonna admit? I'm thinking of suicide. When something abrupt like someone you know dying from suicide happens, it's very difficult to understand what to do from there. These are the chronic issues of early life. About 75% of mental illness has onset before age 25. This is the problem that we all deal with in secret. Help is available, and with the right treatments, you can feel better. After my parents got divorced in third grade, we started going to a counselor. I think I don't actually give my therapist enough credit. I need to be medicated. God, that sentence sounds... I need to be medicated. I was on medications that they would put grown men on. For many who have suffered silently, simply reaching out may be the most intimidating step of all. But the relief can be as indescribable as the pain once was. Finding your person that can help you through times like that is extremely important. And once you start talking, then you'll realize that that's your person and that, that they can help you through these struggles and that you aren't alone. You have value. You are worthy of love. These are the journeys of more than 20 young Americans from all over the country and all walks of life, who have struggled with thoughts and feelings that have troubled and at times overwhelmed them. They share what they have learned about themselves, their families, and the world they live in. They speak for many of us. They speak to all of us. <laughs>